guys welcome back to the channel and for today we are going to finally be building Scarlet Witch. I've had everything I needed to do completed for her for about a week and a half now and if you guys have been following me you'll notice that I've been on a rampage with this freaking guy right here man been having so much fun with the Hulk in this new uniform so I kind of had to put Wanda on the back burner for a little while but I'm a couple days away from being able to unlock Apocalypse and she is one of the requirements on top of that if you guys couldn't tell by the thumbnail I absolutely freaking love Wanda forever in your hearts absolutely love freaking Scarlet Witch so even though she's not necessarily a top top tier character in the game right now still gonna build her still gonna invest a ton of resource in her and still gonna have a lot of fun with her don't get it twisted she's still a top 10 character in my personal opinion there's just no specific game mode where she completely dominates and she is the top character there so that's kind of why I wasn't in a rush to build her up but we're gonna do that today what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna get her from one to six star six star mastery max out her gears get her an iso set get her an obelisk and depending on how much gold i burn in the process we might actually give her some urus as well so yeah let's get into it guys it's gonna be a long one since it's gonna be a long video anyways i don't want to make this super freaking long and put gameplay in it but i love wanda so trust me you're gonna see a ton of wanda video too much for you to handle absolutely love this baby anyways so let's get it guys we're gonna unlock scarlet witch and we're gonna shine on the alliance every step of the way Oh yeah, baby, shine for me, girl. Shine for me, girl. I can't sing for shit, guys. Anyways, so Apocalypse is the only character I have left unavailable. So let's go, Wanda. Where you at, baby girl? Let's let's hit her with that favorite. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. All right, so let's level her up. Those Hulk bios need to stay for a uniform. Rocket Raccoon. Mm. You know, I'm gonna leave those for now. Those Thor bios, though, geez, that's a lot of Thor bios. Groot, I hit your riff often. I can go. All right. All right. Let's hit that mastery. You guys will see just how much gold it takes to level up a top tier character in this game. We're gonna do the full thing in this one, hopefully. I'm gonna try and go as fast as possible. And whatever I need to speed up, I might speed up like material crunching and that kind of stuff. Mm, not enough. Oh yeah, this event is going on right now, so. <laughs> we'll be able to finish this event in one shot. Dude, how many do we need? 12? Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So just keep a track keep track of the amount of gold we're using guys because i'm probably not gonna keep track of it we started with 129 million let's go ahead and oh we already shared that let's get the mastery as well if i'm lucky i'll probably have i would say hmm okay so we need what am i doing i'll probably have maybe 20 million after all this is done Oh, don't, can I just, oh yeah, I can. What the hell am I doing? I forgot. I haven't built a freaking tier two native in a little while, so. Mm, okay, right. So you can actually just. There you go. I forgot about this. So we need 10, 10. Okay, so we can, you know what? Let's make like 50 right now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use all 50 of these. Okay. Jeez, I just blew through that event in one shot. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and make the max we can make, which is 25. And all right, Wanda, let's do it, girl. I'll share with the alliance because sharing is caring, guys. So we're down, geez, a good bit of gold already. So we gotta level her up. Let's go to the bottom and see who, oh, Gamora Bios? Those can go. <laughs> Those can definitely go. All right. And now let's go ahead and get some more materials. 
Let's do another. How many? What's the max? Ooh, that's a lot. I don't even have enough gold for that. Jeez, I accidentally hit that. Let's make like a hundred. Okay, 104. Whatever, close enough. All right, so let's make the max we can make there. All right, and all right, so let me. Oh, we need eight. Okay, so let's make the max we can make 36. And let's get it. Jeez, I'm, I'm, it's been a long time since I've been under uh, 100 million gold. Wow. All right, let's increase the mastery. Share. Forgot to share the last one. All right, so we gotta level her up, right? Okay, let's go to the bottom and see who we can find who's useless. Mockingbird, you can go. You can most definitely go. Um, Vision, you can go. Um, Falcon, you can definitely go. All right. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jocasta. And all right, so let's make some more materials. Oh, let's go ahead and max those. Okay. Gonna be interesting. I don't even think I'm I'm gonna have that much gold left after this because I forgot I have to level up her skills and all that stuff. Golly, your boy gonna be going broke. This might be called how to spend a hundred million gold in like what 20 minutes. If this video is probably gonna be 15 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Hopefully, okay. What else we gotta do? We gotta make some more materials. Oh no, we gotta level her up. And Ultron. As much as I would love your day to be here, it's not. So those bios can go, my brother. <laughs> my brother, those bios can go. Falcon, the rest of those can go. Punisher, you know, Punisher, those can go, bro. Blue Cage already have a tier two, so that's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and make another E50. Do I even? No, I don't need to. I don't need to. Do I? Okay, I only need four, so. Okay. Ooh, that was that was a lot faster than what it used to be. Shout out to Netmarble for putting in this little system right here. Material crunching has never been easier. It's never been faster to spend a lot of gold. I was tempted to say waste, but it's not a waste. Wanda is freaking amazing. Can't wait to put her into some PvP stuff and kill some Jean Grey's. I love Jean Grey, don't get it twisted, but Wanda, that's big, that's big guys, that's big. If you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, that's that's big. Anyways, gotta level up. And a lot of people, oh, Daredevil, those bios can go, I'm sorry. Green Goblin, those can go. And Modok, Godok, those can go. Um, Yeah, Agent 13, those can go. Who else is, is useless and is never gonna be relevant? Yo, those Deathlock bios can go. Jessica Jones, as much as I like you, you know what, I'm gonna leave those. Ooh, look at that. Hulkling bios for the win, guys. Hulkling bios for the win. Boom, the queen of chaos. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's my baby, that's my baby. Okay, so we just spent what, like 64? No, not around that, 60, no, 66? It's a lot of freaking gold. I, I lost track, man, like shit. You guys can keep track, that's a lot of freaking gold. So let's go ahead and get all these skills to six. Don't do what I do, guys. Just level up the skills that are important. Like the five skill is pretty important. The uh, three skill right here, pretty important. But for me, for characters that I really like, I'd rather go broke and have them maxed out because I just love them that much. This is a good skill as well. I don't think she has a wasted skill. The only problem with her is the animation time on her skills are a little bit <laughs> wonky for lack of a better word all right so your boys going broke guys we've spent what 78 million gold already shit you haven't even touched RNG Jesus yet let's go guys I might speed up this part depending on how long it takes You know what? We're, we're not gonna play it RNGs just now. We're gonna get the gears done first. 
just in case this guy decides to rob me and not give me anything I would like to have everything that is not as like heart-wrenching done as possible as fast as possible I mean to say all right so all right, so okay so I have 49 okay I have, I have more than enough well, that was that was lucky let's try again pray for me guys that was lucky too if we can keep it under 10 that would be great Ooh, that's nice that's nice whoever just prayed for me thank you whatever you believe in I don't care just pray for me just keep praying for me guys look at that that's 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 real freaking nice especially for tier 2 natives oh my god that is terrible RNG just always wins at the end of the day, guys. Look at that. 30 tries, guys. That's the max it can take. Jesus. My goodness. This guy, this guy is like, oh yeah, oh yeah. You think you're you think you're having fun right now, right? I always win. Boom. Times 30. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see if I have even 5 million gold after this. Okay. Okay. Watch it hit me with that times 30 now. Okay, times 15. I can live with that. I can live with that. 42 million gold left, guys. Yeah, I don't think we're doing no oil in no oil action in this, guys, because. <sighs> RNG just won't allow that because I know Uru's are gonna take at least 15 million to get amplified plus I have to build them and all that stuff that's 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 not happening in this one plus I don't want to give you guys a 30 minute video and luckily for me because I love Wanda I've been going crazy on, oh my goodness I've been going crazy on building up obelisk for her I have two that I have in mind and I'm gonna leave you guys with a question at the end of the video asking you which one you think I should put on it if you could be so kind as to give me your um, opinion that would be great I have an idea of which one I'm for sure gonna put on but since I'm not gonna do the oils in this video I'll ask you guys what your opinions are and seeing um, if you guys have the same mind frame as I do and then we'll decide from there all right, so gears are all looking pretty nice, ready to be oiled up. We spent a whole lot of gold to do it. She has 14k attack right now. Skills are all at six, okay. All right, so we're gonna roll for the ISO set for sure. And I'm looking for overdrive or, uh, you know what I should have did first? Okay guys, here's what I wanna tell you. Ooh, actually this is, no, this is bad actually because she gets skill cooldown natively. So this is bad for me. I'm gonna go for uh, crit damage here, I believe, yeah. So what I wanna tell you guys is whenever you're rolling for your character's gears, you want to roll when the gear is as low as possible, like on the fourth gear, which is the only one you can roll for now. You want to roll when it's at like plus five, just because the cost is lower. See, I should have rolled for whatever I wanted first before I upgraded it. Wasn't paying attention. That's what I generally do. Because as the gear upgrades, the cost actually goes up, I believe. I haven't checked in a long while. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So we're going to change this times 10 and try to find us crit damage. Oh, that was real nice. Thank you, Orange Jesus. This is what I like. I like when you don't shit on me. Let me see the details. Okay, so 121 for attack speed, 35% for crit rate, 154 for crit damage, 37% for ignore defense. I need to change around my cards a little bit, so I'm pretty sure I don't need to give her ignore defense, even though I'm probably going to be like, I would say, four, three or four percent off with the ISO set active. So I'm pretty sure all I'm going to need to give her is some crit damage, some more crit rate. If I get Power of Angry Hulk, then that would get me pretty close to the cap. We'll look at after I activate the ISO set 
what you're seeing right now is just my thought process and because of how I have my card set up you guys can see right here I didn't do anything for her in terms of skill cooldown but that's already maxed out just because she gets some natively I set my cards up in a way that all I ever need to do is roll the fourth gear slot for a skill cooldown if they don't get it natively and that's a really good way of going about building your cards because it makes your life significantly easier because immediately after getting a character's gears maxed out you know that right away they're gonna have max skill cooldown and believe me guys having max skill Cool cooldown there is no other way to play after you've achieved it on a character trust me trust me when i say that anyways don't want to keep you guys too long let's go ahead and roll for these iso sets man see how badly i get screwed i am also groot terrible that binary power would have been good if um, I wanted to build her defensively but I'm going offense shit eh? nope don't want it That is terrible. How much gold have I spent so far? Jeez, okay. We're not giving up, guys. Let's go. Don't want it. Don't want it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. The extra crit damage is definitely going to help. But because of that, I'm not going to have max attack speed, which is kind of a big deal on her because her animation, like I said, are a bit wonky and immunity to guard break may be something to consider with her. But I'm going to play around with overdrive and I may or may not keep it. It's kind of like, uh, because overdrive is something that pretty much everyone always wants to see. But with Wanda, it's a little bit tricky, but we're going to activate it anyways. And then we take a look at her stats and then we can talk about the obelisk idea that I wanted to run by you guys. So let's go. Add some six stars ready for her. I'm not gonna give her anything awakened just because I don't really need her for any particular game mode. And I have Apocalypse coming in the next couple days and he's more so needed because of the fact that, uh, what do we call it? Extreme AB, I would like to replace my Carnage. So yeah. Let's go ahead and drop that, and let's get that green. Characters that I like, I always try to give them all attack, all defense, and that kind of stuff on their ISOs, just to make them a little bit more tanky, and have as much attack power as possible. Hmm, do I have one for 180? No? Okay, 176, good enough. And all attack. I don't have another attack. I do need to give her extra crit damage, so we'll go with this. It's whatever, okay, cool. All right, so let's take a look at the stats. So she has 16,000 attack. With that, that's with her own lead, right? Because she has a really good leadership. Forgot about that, to be honest. That's one of the perks of having her. One of the best leaderships in the game. One of the best leaderships of any tier two native. So that's cool. All right, let's go ahead, 16. Mm. Her physical defense is a bit low, which makes sense. She uses a blast character, so most speed types will have a significant advantage against her. All right, so yeah, 164 for the crit damage. The attack speed, I might have to put Urus on her to get that up, a couple Urus to get that up, but 45% for ignore defense without an obelisk in the mix, that's cool. So, hmm. So a bit of thought have to be put in here. Um, this is not gonna be the 100% finished build because the Urus, um, I wanna save some gold to put towards Apocalypse. As for the Obelisk now guys, 
here's where I want to leave you guys with my thoughts see if I can find the one that I've see this is something that I considered for her just because of how wonky her animations are I figured the immunity to guard break would ensure that I don't get interrupted the 180 proc would be great for PvE and the sneer immunity was to kind of counter Jean Grey's fourth skill because if you guys already know Jean Grey has that freaking sneer on the Phoenix when she flies up that has a little bit of sneer in there it doesn't say it on the skill but it actually has a sneer type effect and there's another where is it Mm, that's not it <laughs> this is actually one of the funniest shits i've ever seen guys immunity to guard break immunity to guard break invincibility um like this is real life guys like immunity to guard break and invincibility would be great for a pvp build but like why do i need double immunity to guard break why 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 rng this this guy's a, like i feel like if it was possible to get triple immunity to guard break this like this guy would give it to me that's what i have to deal with when it comes to rng this like this guy's a complete freaking troll anyways where's the other one okay so this is one that i was also considering for her the snare obviously to counter jean gray the mind damage to upper damage because she does have a good bit of mind damage skills 180 proc for same reason as well and there's another one here that is pvp this one right here 40 percent mind damage invincibility and stun immunity so those are the three obelisks that i've been considering for her can't really make up my mind i'm gonna go with one of the freaking um attack procs for sure but let me know what you guys think i always like to hear from you guys in the comments and i always try to respond to as many of you guys as i can but that's all i have for today man let me know what you guys think of my scarlet witch build let me know what obelisk you would like to see me put on her and also let me know what kind of gameplay you guys would like to see from her because trust me guys now that she's built up we're going to be having a whole lot of fun with her but that's it for this one guys like always thank you so much for watching my baby is finally here guys and i'll see you in the next one take a good look boys scarlet she's here it's gonna be so much fun peace